Hey guys, welcome back to Pine Haven Acres. Today is a very hot and sunny day, and my sprouts that I've been growing in my milk jugs are getting way too big to be in here still. So today we're gonna be transplanting them, and I wanted to show you kind of some of the plants that are growing um, and have done well in this type of system, and also compare some different types of lettuces that I decided to grow in this way. So behind me, I have some dirt and some pots. These are biodegradable. And then I have a jug of water right here. So we're just gonna be moving the plants from the milk jugs into those little pots. And then once they outgrow these pots, they'll be moved into the garden. The first one that we're gonna do is broccoli. Look how big these are. This is so exciting. So normally when we've gardened in the past, we just plant everything directly into the garden bed and it's usually at the end of May. So some of the stuff like broccoli and some of our lettuces that need that cold season, they don't get to have a nice start like this. So we've never been able to do broccoli. Um, we've never been able to do cabbage because we've just never started our plants so early. But with having them in here, you can kind of see how much moisture is in the top of this lid. It's so humid in here. Um, even while it's still being cold, it gives these plants the perfect environment to start growing. So this is super exciting. Um, and I'm thinking we're probably gonna be able to eat broccoli this year. Straight out of the garden. We usually just buy it from the grocery store. So what I'm going to do is probably dump it into my big bucket so I can get all of the roots spread out. And then we'll be able to plant them into separate pots. And I have not watered any of these milk jugs but the soil is just very wet and um, that's all from rain snow stuff like that so it's really super low maintenance I'm just going to gently pry these away from each other with my finger so we have a little one right here and then I'll just stick it into a pot and we'll fill in around it with other soil once we're done separating. All right, I finished with the broccoli. I decided to put two plants per pot just to save space, and by the time these are outgrowing this, they'll be ready to be transplanted into the garden. So, I actually filled quite a few. I was not expecting to have that many. 
but um, I still have half of this container empty and a whole nother row and then I have a few more that I could pull out of the garage. So I think I'm going to start on probably the cabbage and then the kale and then lastly we'll do the lettuce. If any of you guys have done this method of starting seeds in the milk jugs or juice jugs, let me know in the comments. Like I said, this is my first year doing it, so if anyone else has the same experience, I'd like to hear how it went for you. I did plant some tomatoes and peppers in these milk jugs as well, but I think it, they're not going to produce much fruit this year just because we don't have that long of a growing season. So even though I might get some sprouts, um, I don't know if it's really going to be worth it. So I did end up going to a farmer's market and picking up two plants, uh, two tomato plants, um, like a full-size tomato and then one cherry tomato plant. Um, that were already started and actually quite large. So I think I'll have better luck with those. And then I also got a hot pepper from the same vendor. But otherwise, out of these, my green peppers are starting to come up, which is actually surprising for me. I was not expecting that. Um, but my colorful bell peppers and all of my tomatoes have not even sprouted yet so we'll just wait on those um, I know a lot of people here in central Wisconsin their tomato plants are already like six inches tall so I think I'll probably just end up buying from other people I'll still maintain these sprouts but I'm not expecting much from them